Hey beautiful people of the world, thank you so much for joining me here today on Lumiere. My name is Claire Summer and I'm going to be doing your pick a card reading. Today's topic is how do they really feel about you? So what are their true feelings? What are they feeling and thinking at this time? So we're going to get some messages from Spirit regarding your situation. I just want to thank my Lumies, my amazing subscribers, everyone who has liked and shared and also thank you to everyone who has donated through the Energetic Exchange. I feel really supported and it's really sweet of you to show your appreciation in all these ways. So thank you so much for being part of this community. All right, we have got three groups for you today. I will insert an overhead shot. I ask that you choose from your intuition or that quiet inner voice that we all have to guide you as to which of the three groups will most resonate with you today. You are welcome to pause the video, give yourself a moment to meditate on the cards and decide which is right for you in your situation today and which will resonate with you. While you do that, I will just let you know that my beautiful collection of guided meditations and affirmations to help to raise your vibration and dissolve any blocks that you have towards love and prosperity are available through my website. They are all linked in the description box. All right, but make your selection. Um, the timestamps are below in the description box, so I will see you in a moment. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading. Everyone who picked group number one, I'm gonna take a look at the energies in these cards and see how your person is truly feeling about you at this time. I'll begin with your tarot and I will take a look at the oracle cards a little bit later on. Page of Wands in reverse, Nine of Swords, Four of Wands, Temperance, Two of Wands, King of Cups, Nine of Wands, Knight of Cups, and to end your reading with the Fool. All right, let's see. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio represented here, Sagittarius and Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Uh, because this is a love reading. This is super interesting what I'm seeing at the, out, um, at the outset of your reading here with this Page of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Swords. I just feel like your person is experiencing a lot of anxiety because they feel that there has been some sort of missed opportunity with you. So they're feeling, I'm hearing the word regret really strongly. Maybe there's something in their actions that they now regret. I feel like things have really slowed down, ground to a halt, maybe you're not in contact with one another, or maybe they're a little bit distant from you. But they had this opportunity to create this beautiful relationship with you. They had this opportunity to create happiness with you, something for the long term, something that felt really nourishing, something that felt really good. And they've blown it, is what I'm seeing here. They, um, maybe it was just a missed opportunity to ask you out on a date or to tell you how they really feel or to level up. But there's just this feeling of missed opportunity and now they regret it. They feel really bad about it. It's like that energy of you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Or, yeah, that was my best chance with this person. Or, I should have been more mature. Or, I should have tried a bit harder. Or, yeah, that was a brilliant opportunity to ask that person out and I haven't done it. Or, I shouldn't have had my head turned. You know, whatever it is that they've done, you know, maybe they turned their attentions and um, somewhere else to someone else. If that's the case, then you'll, you'll know this will resonate with you. But whatever it is, it's causing them a lot of anxiety now because they feel like they have missed out on the keys to your kingdom, the keys to your heart, to getting close to you, to being with you, to creating this happiness, to creating this actual real relationship rather than just some nonsense. And they realize that now, but it may be too little too late, or they definitely feel that way. They feel like they don't know how this can be undone. They feel like they don't know how they can get a second chance or how they can win that back. They feel like things have been ruined. Um, so I feel like they're holding back. They're holding back their energy. They're holding back their love. They're holding back maybe even from communicating with you or coming forward in some way because they're just in this state of being triggered, of fear, of not knowing what to do to get to this place, to get the keys to, to your kingdom, to get with you emotionally, spiritually, right? So it is causing them 
just a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety, a lot of upset. They feel like they are excluded, is what I'm hearing, from all this goodness that you have to offer from the, um, you know, maybe that it is too late. And maybe that you would never take them back. But there's so much regret here that your person is really feeling um, about that. It could just be that they missed an opportunity, like you were ships that pass in the night, and they missed an opportunity to make things right, or they missed an opportunity to connect with you, or to connect with you on a deep level. And they really see that. They really see what it is that they missed out on. They're just like, actually, this is what I wanted. Maybe I've been a bit of a player. Maybe I've been a bit immature. Maybe I've messed around. But what I really want is to create some stability, is someone to come home to, is someone that I can really connect to, is someone that I can explore something more deeply with. And now I've missed my chance or I've messed it up. So yeah, a lot of strong emotions there. I think they've been really slow. I think somebody in this connection has been really patient, really patient with them um, while they go through their stuff, really patient with while they make a decision about what it is that they want for the future. There's this energy of someone who's just waited and waited and has been really, really patient and really, really compassionate and kind and given them space and given them what they've asked for and um, tried to make it easy for them, um, is what I'm sensing. So someone's been really patient. There's this energy of needing to let things unfold naturally I feel like your person has been really slow in coming to a decision about what it is that they want from you and what it is that they want in their life. So they've been slow. Maybe they've made you wait. Maybe they've made you wait too long in some instances. But there's this energy of things being slow, but they are going in the right direction. You know, the Temperance card is a card about being in right alignment. Um, about things coming together and about things unfolding in right timing. So there is an energy of this and there is this energy with when we see the temperance of there being a lesson in this that had to be learnt as part of their spiritual development. So I'm hearing they're just like, I have learnt my lesson. Maybe the lesson is strike while the iron is hot. You know, maybe the lesson was, there's a time for things and if you don't get on board with that, you know, if you don't take those opportunities, then those opportunities pass you by, the opportunity for that relationship, the opportunity to ask that person out or to make something serious or whatever it is. But they've learned their lesson, is what I'm hearing, with this temperance card. They are not the same person that they were and they've learned their lesson. Um, and they're feeling more balanced now. If things have been um, a little bit stressful or a little bit... Um, Like, it's like they're more grounded now. They're like more centered in themselves. They've had this time to think and reflect. This is really a card of reflection. They've reflected on this situation and they've come to the conclusion that they've learned this lesson. So they've gone through this process or they're going through this process of reflection and learning their lessons. So this is a card of strong intention as well with the temperance card. This is some, if it's someone who didn't know what they wanted, didn't know if they wanted you, didn't know if they wanted to ask you out, didn't know if they wanted a relationship with you, then this is a card of strong intention, making a decision. And I just feel like they've been slow in making a decision about what it is that they want and they've been slow in deciding whether they want you and how they feel and deciding how they feel about you. And ultimately, they feel this beautiful love. Because this is a soul connection when we see the beautiful King of Cups in a reading. This is someone that you resonate with very deeply. They feel like they resonate with you very deeply. They feel like you are a really good friend to them. That you really understand them in a way that other people do not. And this is very special to them. So this is really beautiful. It's a soul connection and they're coming to this decision that they do love you. They do have these strong emotional feelings for you. And they do want to share that with you and express that. So this is what I'm seeing with this, you know, with the two of wands right in the middle of your reading here, what I'm seeing strongly is that they've been slow in making a decision about how they feel about you, but how they feel about you is that they love you. All right. 
So, but I feel like they're coming forward towards you with an offer with this Knight of Cups. Again, this is something very romantic. How they feel is that they wanna make a romantic gesture towards you. How they feel is that they wanna to come towards you to express this love that they have for you, this realization of this love, this, you know, how they feel. But I just feel like maybe they're wary of doing that. They're wary that they might not get a very good reception from you. Um, they're wary that you may be a little bit cold towards them, that it may, be not, um, may not be received very well. Uh, what it is that they have to say, what it is that they have to share. This is holding them back. Their fear of how you will react or that you will um, give them a hard time about it or that you may not forgive them is what is holding them back from coming forward with this offer of love. They want to be romantic towards you. They want to share their romantic feelings. They want to make you an offer. Maybe that's an offer of taking you out on a coffee date. Maybe it's an offer of um, a relationship or of being more serious with you. They want to do this. They could be triggered by fears of the past, past rejection that they've had, past relationships that have gone wrong. Um, or it could be just that they, they are wary of really putting their heart on the line and talking about how it is that they really feel um, in case you don't feel the same way. But ultimately, I see them getting over this fear and coming towards you with this offer, an offer of whatever it is, something romantic, their feelings, because we have this full energy. So I just feel them just going, well, fuck it, I'm just gonna do this. Excuse my language, just like, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna give it a go, I'm gonna see what happens, I'm gonna ask them out, I'm gonna ring them up, I'm gonna get in touch, I'm gonna send them that message, or send them that gift, or tell them how I feel, and I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna take the leap of faith, and I'm just gonna do it and see what happens. So ultimately, you know, this is this card of things being a little bit slow, of things being in divine timing, but they are in this unfolding process. Spirit saying, trust this unfolding process. And I've just seen 11.11, really significant um, and really powerful because ultimately it will lead to happiness. If you want them to come forward towards you with something more meaningful, you know, King of Cups, Knight of Cups, lots and lots of love here and lots and lots of deep meaning. This isn't someone who doesn't care. This isn't somebody who only lives on the surface of things. This is someone who has access to those deeper emotions to these, um, and to their soul. And they want to share that with you. They may be a little bit wary to begin with, but ultimately as things unfold, if you create an energy, uh, a, a safe space for them to be authentic, they will come forward and they will leap into this with both feet. They will give it a go. They will do what it takes. They do have emotional maturity. I just feel like they've been a little bit human, maybe a little bit immature in the past. I feel like for some of them, they thought this was more surface level than it actually was. Maybe this was just a hookup situation. Maybe it was just a fling and it's taken them by surprise that it's developed into something more serious. Maybe it's just a flirtation and they didn't realize the depth of the connection until now, but now they are realizing it. Your angels and guides are helping you on this journey as well. And they're helping them to get the spiritual downloads that they need to understand what they need to do in this situation. All right, so we have the cards um, spring and summer. That may be significant to you, the spring or the summer. Um, but this ultimately um, indicates like a progression. Like we were saying, going from a fling into a relationship, into something uh, less deep, into more deep, into, into it flourishing. So I see this energy of growth in this connection. I see things being able to transform, to change, and to grow. And for you to grow together, which I, this is what I'm seeing, like two, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have any water, two roots intertwining together to grow together and to grow and to blossom. So... I see that here. We have the card past life relationship. I'm not surprised to see that card here when we have the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups and the Temperance. Weighty, soulful, beautiful energies. So you are in each other's lives for a reason. I think if you feel familiar to one another or if you resonate really well, it's because you've got this past life connection. Um, this is from the Romance Angels deck um, where you 
have known each other in past lives and already connected energetically like that. Oh, we have the card Forgiveness from the Universal Love Oracle deck. Such beautiful imagery on this card. So this does indicate that perhaps they have made a mistake like we were talking about at the beginning and they want to rectify that now. So do, um, is, you know, maybe some forgiveness is needed from you or from both parties. Um, in this situation, there is this call for forgiveness because I just feel like they are scared to come forward. They are scared to show their true feelings. So maybe um, you can forgive them for not, <clears throat> excuse me, for acting out of integrity um, or for not taking the opportunity or for not being in, uh, you know, acting from their higher self. So forgiveness is called for here in this situation and this is what will create that safe space for them to come forward. When you forgive them in your heart uh, for being an idiot or whatever it is that they've done, then this will create a beautiful energy between you both that will give them that space to come forward to you um, with their feelings. We have the card Time to Go. Um, so that's a 45. 45 may be significant to you. That boils down to nine. So nine may be significant to you. Um, so this is like time to go. So this is like, I'm seeing like a, a traffic light. So there's like a stop sign and then there's a green for go. So I'm just seeing like, this is a go energy, like this full energy here, just like all systems go is what I'm hearing. So I'm just seeing overcoming some stagnation and being able to move forward with this, uh, you know, on your journey um, and the energy is shifting so that you can move forward. And we have this beautiful card offer just like the knight of cups he's holding this cup ready to offer it to you and then we have this card it's very dark but it's two hands around a beautiful cup of red wine but it looks like they're holding a cup of blood or like a heart it's like they're offering their heart to you right the knight of cups is coming forward with an offer and now we have this reflected they're coming forward with an offer what is it that you want them to offer you? Is it a true relationship? Is it an apology? Is it a coffee date so you can talk things through or get to know each other better? What is it that you want them to offer you? But they will come forward with that. You can manifest that because there's a fresh start coming between you both. You can begin again. Whatever has happened, you can offer this forgiveness for how they have behaved and you can give it another go or come into right alignment. If it's just a missed opportunity to connect, then you can give it another go, definitely. All right. That's everything that I have for you in this reading today. It has been my honor to share this time and this energy with you. Thank you so much. Um, if you feel called to, please check out my beautiful collection of guided meditations and affirmations to help to raise your vibration and dissolve any blocks that you have towards love and prosperity. People have been getting amazing results with those. It's so lovely to hear people's stories. People write to me in the comments. They write to me directly, letting me know about their amazing stories of coming into right alignment and things changing and feeling so much better. So it's so lovely to hear. So yeah, it does really work. It does really work. So do check those out if it resonates with you. But have an amazing week you're always in my thoughts i'm sending you lots and lots of love and i hope to see you again soon here on lumiere take care now bye bye hey everybody how are you all doing this is your reading for everyone who picked group number two so welcome to your reading i'm going to look at the tarot cards and i will take a look at your oracle cards a little bit later on in the reading we have strength ace of cups in reverse devil in reverse seven of pentacles in reverse Seven of Cups in reverse. King of Swords. The Lovers. Nine of Cups in reverse. Page of Cups. Yeah, okay, this is a super interesting reading. We have Gemini's energy represented here. Capricorn.
Capricorn and Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. So that may resonate with you, but if it doesn't, don't worry about it too much. And just some energies represented here. So I feel with this strength card, they feel very strongly towards you. They have got a lot of emotion um, invested in this connection and they feel very strongly towards you. They have these emotions, they have this love towards you. I feel like they're gonna have to overcome a lot of their fears and their triggers, fear of abandonment, fear of uh, rejection in order to make this work. So, um, or in order to make a relationship work or any relationship work. So this is what I see here with this strength card. I feel like your person is really in like an energy of contraction. Like they've gone, the energy isn't expanding, it's gone smaller, they have um, pulled away maybe from you, pulled their energy, their communication, their love, their warmth away from you. I feel like your person is feeling unloved at this time. I feel like they're worried that they have lost your love and maybe your respect, maybe the opportunity to be with you. I feel like they're feeling like you don't feel as strongly for them as they do about you or that you don't feel as strongly as you used to and that you're not as into them as you used to be. So it may be the case that you have retracted some of your energy from them and from this situation. Um, or from this relationship and put it back onto yourself, which is a good and healthy thing to do if someone isn't meeting you halfway. But they're feeling that energetic shift. They're feeling you um, focusing on yourself a little bit, pulling back from them a little bit and just saying, okay, well, you can have some space or okay, I will get on with my own life if um, you're not gonna reach out to me with this opportunity or with this, or get involved in this connection. So I feel like for some of you, maybe you showed a lot of interest, maybe you were even infatuated with them, and now this has calmed down a little bit into something a little bit more balanced, a little bit more real, but, um, I think maybe they quite like that or their ego quite like that when you were really, really into them and they could see it, they could see it in your eyes, they could sense how your interest, your level of interest. And maybe if you've just pulled back a little bit, they're picking up on that now. And they feel like you're not as connected to them as you were, but maybe you've just come back into balance into something a little bit more healthy, but they feel like, I'm feeling a lot of like they're in quite a negative headspace. They may be very anxious. They may be triggered into depression a little bit. They may have been just triggered in general. They may be experiencing low moods. Um, I feel like they're not feeling very good about themselves. They're not feeling very confident at this time. Um, I don't feel like they're really reflecting or coming to any conclusions at this time. I feel like they feel sad about things. I feel like they feel like they're unlovable for some reason. There's something about them. They've got maybe the um, I am not enough wound and maybe they've been triggered into feeling like they're not enough or uh, for such beautiful love that you have to give them. Like they're not worthy of your love, your attention, your warmth. So they feel a little bit unlovable or not worthy of true and real and lasting love. I think maybe they only understand infatuation or um, surface level things or games or this is what they've been used to. I think maybe they thought that playing some games or messing with your head or just messing with you a little bit was gonna hook you in and it hasn't really worked. Maybe, not because they're a bad person. Sometimes we just have unhealthy um, ways of trying to connect to people or trying to get our needs met um, that we've learned through life, through the people around us, and they're not the best way, and I think maybe your person realizes that now, for definite. Um, I feel like maybe they were rejected in some way. Maybe you rejected them. Maybe you rejected what they had to offer. I feel like they feel... Um, Like what they had to offer you wasn't appreciated or wasn't enough in some way. Now this may be true or may it may be not true, but it's just 
how they're seeing it through their lens of life or how they are experiencing it or something that's just within them that's been triggered. But they just feel like whatever it is that they have to offer the amount of money or where it is that their life is going or where it is that their life is at or what it is that they've got to offer you, the level of love, the level of communication, the level of connection wasn't enough for you. And maybe you said it wasn't enough for you, or maybe it's in your vibe that it isn't enough, or maybe they just felt that way. Maybe they thought, this person is so amazing and special, I could never work hard enough to keep their interest, to keep them interested in me, to keep them um, connected to me, to keep them in my life because I don't have enough going on, because I'm not good enough. So there's this energy of them feeling low about themselves, of um, them having, like, being triggered into low self-esteem or low self-confidence, even if they act differently. People often hide how they truly feel. I feel like maybe some energy leaked out of the connection a little bit due to other influences in their life. These other influences could be other people, could be another connection, could be other people that they're dating, someone else that they were interested in, someone else from the past, or it could just be their friends. And they put more time and attention into their friends than into you. But I just see that like energy is leaked out of this connection and then it's sort of... Uh, died away a little bit because you know we have to invest in a connection we have to put work into things we have to invest in things to keep things going for them to have momentum for them to develop but I just feel like maybe some of their energy and their attention was elsewhere let me just have a sip of water for a while but now now I feel like they're more focused with the Seven of Cups in the reverse and the beautiful <clears throat> King of Swords. They are more focused on what it is that they want. The clarity is coming to them about the nature of this connection and how they truly feel. And that they want you. They don't want all these other people. They're not interested in their friends, all these other people who they were chatting to or connecting to or dating. They have realized in the cold light of day is what I'm hearing. When they've maybe there's been some space where they've had time to really, really think about things. To sit down on their own and think about things. And they've realized the truth. And the truth is, they don't want all this nonsense. They don't want all these other people. They don't want all these other options that are going on in their life, whatever it is. Maybe the options are other things, you know, just work stuff. But what they do want and what their realization is when they think about things is that they want this connection because they understand that this is a deep connection, this is a soulmate connection. You may be dealing with your twin flame, looking at this, when I see the lover's card, it's so powerful, right? It's so powerful, these two. So they've come to this realization of the truth, that they wanna be with you, that they wanna have this union, that they wanna come into union with you. I love to see the lovers in a reading, it is so powerful and deep. So that's the truth of things, but I just feel like they feel like they're not good enough for you, they're not worthy for you, that you don't feel it like you used to, or that you could never love them, which is why we have the strength and them having to face some of these fears and to deal with some of this stuff, because if they don't, they're never gonna be able to have a meaningful connection with anybody. What are the patterns in their relationships? Is this something that has happened with other people in their lives? Or with you, is, it, is this a cycle with you? Or is this a cycle in the patterns of their relationships? Think about that. They want you, they wanna be in union with you, but they're worried that their wish isn't gonna be fulfilled with this Nine of Cups in the reverse. Their wish is to be with you, but they're worried that they've missed the boat, they've worried that they've missed their chance, they're worried that they don't have what it takes. A lot of fear here. They're really in this fearful space. You know, we can always choose love or we can choose fear. And they are really choosing fear. And they're in this energy of retracted energy 
of going within themselves, of protecting themselves, protecting their hearts. I feel a bit sorry for them really. They need like, I've just seen 11-11. Uh, the energy of compassion extended to them because they feel a little bit sorry for, this is someone who feels sorry for themselves. This is someone who feels like they recognize what they want now. But they're worried that their wish won't be granted. That they won't get the chance. That they won't get the second chance. That they don't know how to make it work. I feel like... Page of Cups. I feel like... They want this thing to happen. They want this union. I feel like they want you to reach out to them. And I feel like they want you to rescue them from their feelings by getting in touch. I'm not saying that you should, don't reach for your phone. You don't need to rescue anybody or do their work for them. I think this is whatever it is that they're going through is something that they have to work on themselves. But they're still very hopeful. They hope that you will come back. They hope that you can be into union. It may be wishful thinking. They do daydream about you. Daydream about you being together daydream about you being in this union daydream about making things right but i just feel there's something about it which is a little bit immature or not really thought through um that they don't really understand what it takes to sort of come into right alignment come into union with one another at this time i feel like they want you to reach out to them remember it doesn't mean that you should because they've got their own stuff to work on, but they do, they do want that. But let's see, let's see what other messages we have. Okay, we have the cards, crossroads and self-worth here. So I feel like your person is at a crossroads trying to decide. I think this is a big crossroads, not just in your relationship, but in their life in general. I just feel like the decisions that they make now over the next few months are gonna impact their life for the rest of their lives. Like that film, Sliding Doors. If you remember that, it's from like 100 years ago, um, <laughs> from the 90s, uh, with uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, right? So they're, they're at this crossroads about what they want to do with you, whether or not they're going to uh, make a go of this, whether or not they're going to reach out, whether or not they're going to get in touch with you. They are in quite a low place, though, so it may not be quite the right time for them to do that. You know, this card is in a fog. It's like they're in a fog right now of their own emotions and their own thoughts and feelings. They don't have a lot of clarity. They are coming into this truth that they want this union, but they don't have a lot. And then we have this card self-worth, like I was picking up on, that they feel unworthy, that sometimes they feel unlovable. You can't help somebody with that when... Sometimes we just think we can just pour love, and if we just love them enough, they can feel our love, but it just doesn't work like that. The love that we feel on ourselves is reflected back at us from the outside. If they can't connect to their own inner love, there's, there's no hope of them being able to connect to anybody else. So that's part of their journey. It's part of their journey. Uh, we have this card, Milk and Honey, very beautiful, from the Wisdom Oracle deck, 51. Um, may be significant to you, uh, which goes down to a six. So six may be significant to you. This just... Uh, I don't know if you have this saying in your culture, but it's the land of milk and honey, just this feeling of abundance. So you make them feel really good. This connection made them feel really good, even if they didn't know how to make it happen or how to make it work. There is this abundance of emotion and um, love and feelings that they have for you. You do make them feel um, expansive and you do put them in touch with these good feelings which maybe they haven't experienced before and they do want to get back to this ambrosia, this back to this fe these good feelings, you make them feel so good. They want to get out of this negative headspace and back into something that feels better. You know, and we've got this beautiful rainbow image here, the image of hope, the image of a miracle, the image of dreams coming true, pot of gold at the end of a rainbow, like that, that richness, that abundance that they want to connect with, that they want to find at this time okay and then we have the card unrequited love 
So somebody in this connection is feeling like their love is unrequited or they're unworthy again of the love or that they're not connecting or that perhaps you don't feel the same way as them. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So just like um, this mismatch of understanding, this mismatch of feelings. Maybe you think that they, they're not into you and they think that you're not into them. So this energy of unrequited love here we could be talking about the self-love, that they aren't able to love themselves that like we were talking about. And we have the beautiful answered prayer. I absolutely adore this image from the Universal Love Oracle deck with this beautiful angel here, answered prayer. Their prayer is that, you know, their wish that they want granted is to be with you, to be in union with you. That is what they're wishing for. That is what they're hoping to manifest at this time. This is gentle energy here, a little bit like the star card in the tarot. They want that compassion. Again, I just get this energy of them wanting you to reach out, wanting you to do the work, wanting you to rescue them. That will be their prayer answered. But I just feel like it can't be done. Like they have to do the work for themselves in order to make this right, to make this good. But this is what they want. They want to get back to the land of milk and honey, for things to feel good again. This is their wish that they want granted. This is what will give them this rainbow. This is what will give them, uh, you know, these good feelings and this happiness. All right. That's everything that I have for you in this reading today. I hope it has given you some clarity. It has been my honor to read your cards. Thank you so much for sharing this beautiful time and energy with me today on the channel. If you feel called to, please check out my beautiful book, Attract Soulmate Love, for coming into right alignment with your beloved, whether you've met them or you're hoping to call that person into your life. People have been writing to me with their amazing stories of... Um, coming into union with their beloved so it's you know sometimes they write in the comments sometimes they write to me directly but it's so lovely to hear so do find out more about it if it resonates with you um but have an amazing week you're always in my thoughts and i'm sending you lots and lots of love and i hope to see you again soon here on lumiere take care now bye bye Hey everybody, welcome to your reading everyone who picked group number three. I'm going to start with your tarot cards today and I will look at your oracle cards a little bit later in the reading. Beautiful page of cups, six of swords, seven of pentacles, knight of wands in reverse, devil in reverse at the center of your reading. Beautiful high priestess represented here. Five of cups. Ace of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles for you. All right then, so Capricorn's energy represented here, Leo and Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. So that may resonate with you, but if it doesn't, don't worry about it too much. Um, Page of Cups, they do have these feelings for you. Maybe these feelings aren't very well developed or they haven't been. I feel like they are or have been enjoying the connection, they enjoy your energy, they enjoy being in your space, they enjoy your energy, your warmth, um, they're definitely enjoying the frisson between you, the, um, the flirtation that you have, the connection that you have. I think they're sort of super help, um, excuse me, super hopeful that this can be something that this can be a more significant connection. You may be dealing with someone who's a little bit younger than you. Um, and I think they're hopeful that you haven't moved on from this. I just feel like for some of you, this may resonate that they have pushed you away a little bit. Um, and they didn't mean to, I don't think. I think maybe they were a little bit immature or they didn't take it very seriously or they weren't very interested in meeting your needs or they didn't recognize the opportunity or the depth of the connection. And it has caused you to take a little step back and just be like, well, I need to think about this now or I need to protect myself a little bit or if you're not interested, then I'm gonna go somewhere else and find someone who is interested. You know, or if you don't want to offer me something, I like you, but if you don't want to offer me something serious, then again, I'm going to move on. 
So I don't know whether you've said that or it's just something that's happening within you energetically. But they don't want you to move on because they are invested in you. They feel invested in you. This person feels invested in you. They've invested emotionally. They've probably invested time in you. Um, so there's sort of... There's more invested in this. There's more still to come. There's more still to happen when I see this Seven of Pentacles energy. They feel a little bit despondent is what I'm hearing. I feel like they're thinking, well, I've, I've tried my best. I thought we were having a good time. I thought this was going all right. I think maybe for some of you, not quite on the same page. Like they thought they were doing a good job or they thought that things were okay between you both. And you're just like, well, not really. This isn't really what I want. I want a bit more consistency is what I'm hearing as well. Maybe they've been a little bit inconsistent with their affections or attentions towards you. But it isn't how they truly feel and it isn't what they truly mean because they are invested in you here. But I feel like they're feeling a little bit despondent about stuff like, oh, I thought we were having fun. You know, I thought you were invested in this as well. I thought we were having a good time. I thought this was going somewhere. And now, you know, it isn't. It seems to have fizzled out or we seem to be going separate ways or growing apart or something. But they are committed to you. Knight of Wands in the reverse. This isn't someone who's fooling around. This isn't someone who's um, playing around. This isn't someone who wants to play games anymore necessarily this is someone who's serious i see devil in reverse this is a healthy connection this is right at the center of your reading very weighty this um devil in the reverse energy at the center of your reading very weighty and uh you know major arcana card here so really significant so moving into a healthier way of connecting they're decided on you this is how they feel they've decided that they want you that they want to offer you something, that they want this to be serious. They're not interested in anybody else. And they're not interested in having a fling. They are interested in something that is healthy and long-term and more committed. Now, this is the energy, this is the processing, because you know, they've got some time to think now. Maybe you've given them a little bit of space, maybe you're on a break. Maybe you're having a little bit of time apart, physically or energetically. They've got some time to think. And they're concluding that... So I'm seeing them going into less scattered energy and something more focused. I feel like they're worried that they've lost you with this devil in the reverse. It's causing them a lot of anxiety. They're feeling a lot of anxiety about this. There's some themes for the collective in this reading today. It's super interesting. I find it really validating when that happens. Um, but yeah, they've got this fear that you're moving on or that they may have lost you. They are hopeful that you'll come back, but the fear is that they've lost you. They think that you're very mysterious right now. I don't know if you're playing your cards quite close to your chest, if you're being... Um, quite emotionally um, like controlled which I think is a good thing just to not let your emotions run away with you don't let your mind run away with you as well as what I'm hearing with this high priestess energy they want to work out what the key is to getting closer to you this is how they feel they want to work out what the key is to getting close to you and maybe they've been a little bit foolish. Maybe they were just messing around. Maybe they thought, thought they could win you over with jokes or, or that they didn't have to make too much of an effort. But they're realizing now that they do. So I think you may be connected. This is a very spiritual high priestess. I think you may be connected on the 5D. You may be able to, um, Connect with them psychically, you know, via your third eye. So, you know, if you've got something that you want to share with them, that may be the way to do it. I don't know if you've done that before, but you can just imagine a beautiful cord of silver light going from your third eye to their third eye. You ask permission to connect with them and then you say what it is that you want to say in a succinct way. That may be um, 
you know, please let me go because I want to move on. Or it could be, um, I am open to communication for you. Or I really need uh, closure. Um, you know, I am open to that. So you, you can transfer this, but I just feel like you're connected anyway via the heart, via the third eye. You're feeling each other's emotions. You are able to exchange emotional energy, physical energy, um, and thought energy as well between you both. But yeah, they're thinking you're quite mysterious. Like, I don't know if you're feeling one thing and acting another way, because they're confused. This is what I'm hearing. They feel confused right now about what's going on, about what's gone wrong, about what it is that you want. So, but you know, that confusion, that kind of feeling slightly off balance can create quite intense chemistry and quite intense attraction. They're focused on you, definitely. If there was anybody else in the picture or they've been a bit of a player in the past, they are knuckling down, nailing down now. They want to explore this with you, is what I'm hearing. But I love it that they think you're mysterious. There's something here that they're not understanding. There's more to this connection than meets the eye. I think there's more to this connection that's going to be revealed to you as well. In the next few weeks, I'm hearing four weeks, maybe a little bit longer because it's just a general reading. But something's going to be revealed that is going to bring you greater understanding about this person. Be like, ah, oh, right. I understand now. Maybe. Now, everybody um behaves the way they do for a reason and if that way is hurtful it's because they have been hurt in the past or they are hurting or feeling triggered um th there's always a reason when you stand in that person's shoes there's a reason why they behave like they do and i just feel like you are going to get a bit of insight into why that is like one of my girlfriends she was dating this guy and he was really hot and cold and she just didn't understand and it was really upsetting and then in the fullness of time she found out that he was really confused about his sexuality and this was why so then she was made, able to make a decision in her own life about what she wanted uh, based on this information which was super helpful so i'm not saying that's what it is i'm just giving it an example of what might happen but they are experiencing loss they feel regret for maybe the mistakes that they've made or something that they've done or said, or an opportunity that's been lost. I mean, when I see Five of Cups next to Ace of Wands in reverse like this, this is an opportunity missed, an opportunity lost, an opportunity for connection, an opportunity um, to be together or to have, to talk to you or to have a relationship, whatever it is. But they're in this energy of loss, they feel regret, they feel sad about this because this is something they wanted. They didn't know how to make it happen. Um, and they're very much in this loss energy. And if there is still a chance with you or if there is still an opportunity with you, they are not aware of this right now. Maybe because you're playing it cool or you're keeping your cards close to your chest, but they don't know this right now. Or if they do, they don't believe it. This is why. So they may have pulled their energy back off this, off this connection. Or what it is that you've shared. I think things are quite stagnant between you both right now. This is what I'm feeling. Definitely in an energy of stagnation. But they're definitely feeling this sorrow, this sadness, this loss. And they don't know that there is still an opportunity there if there is one. They feel like there isn't an opportunity to connect with you or to reconnect definitely a missed opportunity I think if that is true then that's resonating with you just like yeah you could have apologized right then or you could have come up to me right then or you could have asked me out back, way back then and you didn't but they regret it now they see it as well so it's not just you that's seeing it they see it as well because what they feel excluded from and they feel like they're missing out is this perfect 10 is you know a relationship with long-term potential uh, with somebody who's really special, who has a beautiful open heart, who feels like family because they resonate with you so deeply. You know, who they could have invested in and created this beautiful future, who, you know, they want to spend, how they're feeling is that they want to spend their future with you. They want to create a future with you. They want to create a relationship with you. But they just feel like it's all gone. 
I don't see them coming towards you, if that's what you want right now. We'll have a look at the Oracle cards. But I don't see them coming towards you at this time. Because I just feel like they don't know what's going on. It's, maybe it's obvious to you what's going on, but for, for them, they don't, they don't quite understand what's going on. Or what has happened. It's like maybe they're being a little bit naive about it. Maybe they're being a little bit blind to the truth of it, but they don't understand. But they do feel like they've lost something really special, is what I'm hearing. A, a special person, a special opportunity. The way they feel about you, they don't feel about anyone else. And I don't think they ever have done, to be honest. But there are these two cups still standing, you see, and they've turned their back on them. So there is like, there is still hope here. But they're not seeing it at the moment. So let's take a look at your oracle cards. Okay then. So we have the cards Purge and Awakening. So this purge represents to me that they are, it's just like a processing thing. Things don't just change around just like that very often. It takes a while for things to percolate down and to be processed. So I feel that they're going through some changes, which I think is really good. This purge indicates that they're sort of letting go of some of their old ways of being, which they've realized. Again, High Priestess, this is like an energy of kind of realization as well. Deeper truths. They have these realizations and they're letting go of what is no longer serving them. Someone in this connection is letting go of what's no longer serving them. There's this beautiful image of water as well, of just things being cleansed. Cleansed free, releasing that, forgiveness, letting go of the past, um, shedding things, you know, learning, you know, moving forward into something really fresh, like a beautiful fresh breeze. And again, this beautiful awakening, this guy looking at this beautiful vista, this beautiful view, and being able to see things clearly. So they will be able to see the missed opportunity or the mistake that they've made, or the potential of this connection. Also, the uh, letters J or B may be, or T may be um, significant to you, but don't worry too much if not, it's just a little message there for you. So we have the card Listening from the beautiful uh, Universal Love Oracle deck, which I love working with. This beautiful image here of this woman, like listening to the universe, listening to the hum of life, the hum of the energy of the universe. So I feel like your person is getting spiritual downloads, which is helping them in this unfolding process, but also they want you to listen to them this is how they're feeling, they want to be listened to. Um, they've got something that they really want to say to you and they want you to hear it. Um, but, but we have the card keep an open mind. So whatever it is that they've got to say is their truth. So, you know, do you want to hear their truth? Are, you know, are you okay with that? It says keep an open mind. So whatever it is that they want to come forward with about how they feel or how they see things, through their own lens of perception, can you be open to that? Also, keep an open mind, this is very similar to the High Priestess, just saying there's more than, to this than meets the eye. So just what you think is happening, or what you think has happened, or your, the assumptions that you're making about what they think and feel are not necessarily the true story. Right now, is what I'm hearing. And we have this beautiful card, Poised from the Wisdom Oracle deck. It's a number 48, which may be significant to you, which goes down to 12, uh, which goes down to three. So that may be significant as well. But they're poised on the cusp of something. They're poised on the cusp of a change. So I think this is good because I think the energy needs to change a little bit. So they're poised on the cusp of this change with this purging, with this awakening. This is super positive. So I see changes happening in your connection in the next four to six weeks, which I think is really nice. Um, they may be poised to come towards you or to speak to you. They're definitely, because of this listening and they want you to hear them, they're poised to talk to you is what I'm hearing. They're poised to talk to you at this time, but they really don't understand what's going on. They want, what they're craving is clarity. 
So they feel sad, they feel like they've missed out, they feel like they're unable to come towards you. They feel invested in this. They feel like you're offering them something really good, but they feel like they don't quite understand what's going on. These are their feelings. So, but they're poised. They're, this is, you know, closing out your reading. They're poised for a change. And I feel like they're poised to talk to you in a way that makes a difference, you know, with something meaningful. Meaningful communication is what we want. So it's not necessarily true. It may be the case that it resonates, that they're poised to make a change within them, a realization, an awakening within them, within their own energy. And that's the first step. And then the second step is what they decide to do as a result of that. But for some of you, it may resonate that they're poised to really want to talk and share things with you, but be heard uh, and share in a safe space. Um, and not have you, you know, keep an open mind, not have you judge them for how they see things and how, and for their, their feelings, because they feel how they feel. So, which is easier said than done, isn't it? Because we're all human. All right, that's everything that I have for you in this reading today. It has been my honor to read your cards as always. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful time and energy with me today. Um, if you feel called to, please check out my beautiful collection of guided meditations and affirmations or my book, Attract Soulmate Love, for helping to raise your vibration and bring you into right alignment with your beloved. People have been getting amazing results, writing to me with their beautiful stories from the heart. So if that resonates, do check that out. But have an amazing week. You're always in my thoughts. I'm sending you lots and lots of love and I hope to see you again soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.